I'm going to be working with a few items. I have a glass candlestick, a wood candlestick, a plastic bowl from Dollar Tree, a bird from Hobby Lobby. It's a little ceramic bird, a small mason jar, and I filled it with colorful eggs. And I have this little plaque that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby a year ago. I'm going to be using E6000. And I'm going to start by taking my the bottom of my glass candlestick, and I'm going to add E6000 and hot glue and place it on my plaque. Then I'm going to take the, the lid of the mason jar, again E6000 and hot glue, and I'm going to place this on the bottom of my plastic bowl. Then I'm going to take my wooden candlestick and I'm going to glue it to the bottom of my ceramic bird. Then I'm going to take the wooden candlestick and hot glue that to the inside of the plastic bowl. I'm going to take this flat Rust-Oleum black spray paint and I'm going to spray all my items except for the glass mason jar. Once everything dried, I'm going to take some more E6000 and I'm going to take my glass mason jar with the colorful eggs and glue it to the top of my candlestick. And now you can take the lid with the bird and screw it on top of that and this will pull, pull it all together. I'm going to take Higgins Lake and a chip brush. I'm going to load and unload my brush on a paper plate and now I'm going to start painting. I'm not worrying about full coverage. This is almost like a dry brush. You want to see that black come through. I'm going to do this all the way up except for the glass jar with the eggs inside. And you can see as you dry brush, it's revealing just all the different textures throughout my different items. This is a great technique when you want to make something plastic look like stone. And you can use whatever items you have around the house if you want to try to make something like this. I loved how the bird came out. And I'm going to show you different stages. You can stop at any stage that you like the look of. This is just the black with the Higgins Lake and this came out really nice. I went ahead and added, now I'm going with some Snow Owl. This is obviously going to be a little bit less of a brush because you're going to want to see that Higgins Lake and the black. So I'm just dusting this around. And you can add as many different colors or layers as you want. I took some black paint and filled in the eyes. And then I'm taking some of our gilding wax in the copper and I'm just adding it to little areas of the bird and then down around the edges using my finger. I was really happy how this came out and I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.